Hey guys, this is the legendary creature, the Yeti, made by Blue. Coming up. Hey guys, it is Steve on the Guru Brew. Today I would like to introduce you to a new product that we received here in the shop. Something that we'll be using to make other YouTube videos. Um, hopefully with better quality sound. It is a USB microphone called the Yeti. This is the 16-bit version of the Yeti made by Blue, the company Blue. There's also a 24-bit version. This version was $109 and the 24-bit version is roughly $150. The reason why we uh, put this product into our arsenal of equipment to use here on the show is the background noise of the street is clearly heard in a lot of the videos that we do as well as fan sounds from the servers here in the repair shop so hopefully this microphone will cut down on those problems I would like to do a small test with you so you could see the difference in this microphone versus the onboard microphone inside our Nikon camera that's currently recording the video so I am going to be speaking in my normal voice right now, and the audio is coming from the Blue Yeti. And now we're going to switch over to the Nikon onboard audio system that has a stereo microphone built into our Nikon camera. And now we're going to switch back to the Yeti, and hopefully there will be a big difference in the audio quality. On the front of the microphone is a selector switch that allows you to adjust the pattern of the microphone and how it listens. I'm not going to go into great detail on how the selector switch is used. You can look that up on the blue website if you wish. But it's very useful. On the other side here is a mute switch with a blinking light to tell you the status of the mute or unmuted. There's also a volume control that adjusts the volume of the headset so that you can listen and monitor yourself real time. On the bottom of the microphone there is an 8 inch stereo phone jack that allows you to put earbuds or headphone set into that so that you're able to monitor yourself and that's what the mic, uh, volume control on the front of it is for is the balance. And like I said that's all real time. Also, I should note that I think it's interesting to know that when you mute it, it goes through a bank of capacitors so that you don't get that popping noise that is normally associated with putting a microphone on and off mute, which is very useful. On the bottom is also the USB wire that comes out that goes directly into a 1 or 2.0 PC or Mac computer system. On the bottom is also a thread for a standard mic stand mount system that is very useful if you wish to hang the microphone or use it on a regular stand. And you can just take it off here by simply loosening these up and taking it off. Okay guys, well I just wanted to introduce you to this microphone. We're excited to get in new equipment. We hope to better content for you. And this is all part of that. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Let us know how this microphone sounds. We won't be using it on a lot of the live shots, but for these table and the green screen shots, we'll try to get it in there and use it as much as possible. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.